After the heart stops, there are seven minutes of brain activity left. Seven minutes where the brain replays the best moments of a life. I'd imagine everyone sees different things. Some would see summer days where sex and cigarettes or food and water, some would see quite nice with a book. Some would see spring nights in Paris, bodies learning the art of forgetting. Some would see their 21st birthday. My mind must have forgotten the memo because I saw you. I saw the fire when you first danced around where I first met you, your body, midnight blues, hips swaying to a rhythm we've both known since birth. I remember how you stole my breath away and then flew with it. Six minutes left. I saw your smile, those hazelnut freckles, those proud dimples and that shy smile. You loved when I turned it into a metaphor. I call it God's way of showing me he created something perfect. But you say with that smile, no, I'm not perfect. I'm me. Five minutes left, I saw hands. Your hands, gentle hands, careful hands, hands reaching to my darkest parts of Maurice I locked away years ago and never, never made a key. And I saw that I never put my heart on my sleeve. No, I put it in a suitcase, in a closet, in a past life because I'm convinced if I write enough of myself on paper, I don't have to feel anymore. Four minutes left. I saw your smile slowly fade away. Three minutes left. You walked away too. Two minutes left, I saw your new man. I hope his name resembles happiness. I hope his tongue isn't barbed wire. I hope his arms can hold you and say, I love you, you deserve him. One minute left, I saw the fire we first danced around. It looked a lot like burnt bridges, your body, Midnight black, too distant to hold him swaying to the rhythm of another man's voice. I remember when you stole my breath away. Then we both suffocated. Zero.